What's good, Unapologetic Gang? I want to talk to you guys about the power of worship. So I have you know, as I look back on my development and where I've gone in my Christian walk, I have to say, since I really started worshiping, and I'm not talking like sitting at worship mob, I'm talking, I look at a lot of the ministries from where I started to where I am now and like being like, wow, I have come leaps and bounds. I have to tell you that the more i have been in a space of worship shout out to chris garcia please uh subscribe to him on a your youtube i've been seeing that that's been heightening a lot of my spiritual capabilities it's been heightening or deepening where i go inside of the spirit realm and all of the multiple gifts that have come along with it i talked to you guys about how I was traversing in the spirit. Being around other people who are just as prophetic has also sharpened that for me. Going to conferences and being around a lot of other people has sharpened my spiritual uh, sensitivity, my spiritual capabilities. And I've got to say, like, I just thought worship was sit and sing, okay? And not just saying, I worship you. And sitting there and just really just like you are looking at somebody and you love them I I give you all the honor I give you all the praise you're worthy and to say that for two hours three hours and while I'm doing that pulling up scripture I mean the thing is because I am my brain works differently I need to know specifically how like Everybody who's prophetic doesn't really, they just get in a deep worship. That That's not telling me anything, you know? Like, yo, like, I'm high-functioning autism, okay? And that's not like a depression you could shake off. This is just how my brain is. I need to know step-by-step step how do things work? How, how are things working? How does the prayer work? How do I access relationship? How do I get to the place that's going to help me grow? I want to help you guys grow. How I receive messages is different. But I have to tell you, just sitting and and, and singing the same 50 or 100 songs wasn't doing it for me. And I look at all of the ministries that I have had from my inception of, of saying, okay, I will say yes to you, Christ, and letting things go and being on the beach saying like, okay, so this is the beginning of something. That's actually a video I talked about the progression of where I am in the spirit. And so I first actually started going to a lot of ministry. I was listening to a lot of uh, people who were also prophetic and the COVID was happening. So I wasn't really able to find a church because when I'm also moving, I'm not really in one place too often. That doesn't happen. That's pretty rare. You know what I mean? So I was, uh, I noticed that from this one ministry of Chris Garcia, that's grown me from the ministry of Isaiah Salvador, me casting out demons has gone from zero to a hundred because I didn't know how to do it without his training and his help. And he actually walks me through it. And then praying at night with, um, the prophetic prayer hour has helped me uh, with my midnight prayer. So I'm getting multiple influences that are all along the same vein. Now, I was told, you know, you're listening to too many people, just find two or three people that are similar. And when I was little, I always wondered, why are people always all about Mr. Miyagi and the karate kid? I couldn't understand, like, I always wondered, is it is a is a really intelligent person she who has multiple masters makes her better or she who has one i'm going to stick with the multiple at this point in my life uh because everybody is a part of the body and one has an arm the other one has a pinky toe the other one is a leg the other one is the head uh the other one is you know the digestive system so all of these people and these parts are working together to help me with worship and praise so in praising not only have i traversed in the spirit i would pray a lot with dr cindy trim i could almost memorize and say it word for word 
Father, in the name of Jesus, the author and finisher of my faith, I arise to establish my legal right and dominion over this region and over every territory which you have given me jurisdictional authority. According to Daniel 9 and 4, you are the only great and dreadful God, keeping the covenant and mercy to them that love you and to them that keep their commandments. I appeal to the God who said in second, oh my gosh, like I just, you know, I... <laughs> I had been to a space of like completely memorizing a lot of these prayers and um, that had helped me kind of have the relationship and the stamina, stamina to pray for one hour. That alone. And then I was always saying my morning prayers with, you know, commanding my day. Then learning, okay, through Joshua Selman, that was at the very beginning. I just felt like maybe I needed something a bit deeper. So it was nice for a little bit. I felt like I had grown, uh, but it, not to the way I, I, I was expecting without having like relationship. I would always just kind of command things to happen and not listen. And I, I don't know, it's so easy to listen as a very deep prophetic voice. It's so easy to listen. And I love that I can hear easily. Um, and so just learning to discern the voice. Now, this month, we are spending a minimum of three hours with God in prayer, on our face, in worship. And so I found that the time that I've spent, like I shared with you guys, the deeper we go or the higher levels that we go to, the better or the um the the many realms of the spirit we're going to be able to ascend and it's like hours clocked in at a job so we can't expect to get um and i hate to even say hours clocked in at a job because like we don't believe in changing work for a time time for money but sometimes there are small adjustments that have to be made for example if you're trying to get to a conference and the conference ticket costs five thousand dollars just for the ticket itself and not everything else the operational costs of your business and the small ways you were paying yourself they all have to go back into the business and you may have to supplement your income they they always talk about that so that's how this works uh sometimes we have to get a side job um and that hurt a little bit <laughs> But it's all right, uh, one day at a time, taking it in stride, y'all, taking it in stride. So I found that worship with uh, Chris Garcia helped me. I, I was going to conferences as well, which was sharpening me because I was around other prophetic people. And it's always nice to be around the people that you're like, okay, we could easily be friends. This is just kind of, we're all flowing pretty much on the same vibe, same vein. And so I like that from the same father, right? And that helped me a lot to be around other prophetic people and um, having training without people saying, well, did you go to a pastor for that? I like that a lot of people have just gone back into scripture and it that helped me a lot. Um, and so uh, worship is where I'm at right now in a different space. I always love singing, but knowing in worship, learning that ministry to Christ is a different space of, of, of growing in the spirit that now I learned like you grow when you minister to God, when you minister to Christ and when you minister to Holy Spirit. And I was like, what does that even feel like? The atmosphere gets thick. That was like my communion. That was my, that is my daily bread. And I start noticing, I get in a space of anxiousness um, and I wanna be calling prayer lines, you know, three times in a row, hang up with that person. Hey, uh, the last person didn't pray too good. Can you, <laughs> and I'm not trying to knock them, but you know, sometimes you can feel Holy Spirit there and, but we also don't know the types of lives people lead. So it, we don't know them. I don't know them sometimes. So it is so much better for me to just be uh, in a good space, um, praying with people who I know got that tongues of fire. You know, I know about their lives. They're not in 
uh, secret sin, you know, doing God knows what with one hand and then using the same hand to pray over you. This is real. This happens. People, men who are still in lust, addicted to pornography, using the same hand to bless you, to put their, let, just let me pray for you. Can I lay my hands on you? I'm not trying to get into fear or anything like that, but uh, it's just to share that what I've felt and how I have uh, really ascended inside of the spirit. I got somebody that said, how do you, how do you know the word like that? You guys, honestly, it's been since 2021, 20, yeah, 2021, May, that I, no, J January, January. So December 2020, yeah, December 2020. And that was really when I came into uh, complete surrender, not like where I was, I had completely learned about what I should not be doing. So theta healing, energy healing is not healing. Energy work is not work. Yoga is not good. Sex is not good, even if you love the person. That's not how God designed it. So. Uh, like really coming to understanding that really helped me like, okay, this is not what I'm supposed to do. So full shedding from then until now, it's not even like a year and six months. I told you guys in one of my last videos, you've seen me change before your very eyes. I talked about this in the prophetic wedding, how rice will be spilt, how I spilt rice and it will be thrown, people celebrating and how I'm not the same person I was even a year or two years ago. So how does this change happen? I feel, I just feel that in the space of worship, really ministering and, and reading Psalms to while out loud really helps to thicken the atmosphere. It's like a protection. So I would usually at the beginning just command the day and this is how it's gonna go and not really being able to hear too much. So this is why we're spending three different hours or just three hours in general, making sure we're getting as much of all three as possible. The word of God, we're making sure we're also um, in a space of worship so we can just worship God and be in, in the presence of Christ and Holy Spirit. And we also wanna be that in a space where we're on our face, speaking to God or allowing God to come and and uh, through Holy Spirit to deliver us messages. Now both can come in, uh, you can always get messages from the word, you can get messages from worship and on your face. But just all three really has been so helpful for me and isn't it so interesting? Three is such a powerful number. I love uh, second Chronicles 20, 25, how it took three days to pick up the spoils of war, how it took three days for Christ to be resurrected. Three, I think, was also the number for, Mo for Moses uh, during um, uh, when he was beginning to free the children out of Israel. I need to go back to the passage in Exodus before I'm speaking too much, but three hours three is a very powerful number so we're sitting in a space of power and we're in a space of acceleration three hours guys so this is i just wanted to share that worshiping is you know this is a really great example if if you don't know chris garcia please type him again chris garcia chris garcia Chris Garcia, he's an amazing man of God. I just love to spend time uh, with his ministry just praying. It's amazing. So please spend time with God. I found that worship is it. This is how you worship God. I, I, I just give you all the praise. I give you all the honor. I worship you. You can speak in tongues for 10 seconds or one. Shalabagate. Worship. Honor worship glory glory you're worthy and that's it just say that for all and you will start hearing things as well so go try it out don't stay on this video too long go listen yourselves and i love you and i'll see you soon unapologetic gang i'll see you guys very very soon take care